Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm the instructor Alejandro Guzman. I will frequently upload topics about software development, program languages, database, and much more. All my course completely free. Remember to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. So, see you soon. Let's now see some useful commands for copying and pasting using the buffer. What is the buffer? The buffer are simply memory locations where we can store the information and when we want to paste, copy or paste it, we can use it again. Let's see this series of commands and we will see an example of each of them so you can see how they are used. One of the most used commands in the V-Editor is the YY command. This command allows us to copy information in the buffer. Observe what happens when we press YY. No type of message appears on the screen because I copied very few lines in the buffer. When we use YY preceding a number, it allows us to copy several lines in the buffer. For example, if I want to copy 5 lines, I press 5 YY and in this way, if a message appears at the bottom of the screen, indicating that five lines were copied. However, with the example we made earlier, pressing only YY allows me to copy the line on which I am. Let's repeat that example. YY and we already have a line in memory. We are going to locate in another part of the document and we are going to paste the line and for that we are going to see the P command. The P command has two modes, the lowercase mode and the uppercase mode. If I press P at this time, the text that is in the memory will be below the current line. If I press P in uppercase, the text will be above the current line. I will press P lowercase and observe the effort. The text appears on the bottom line, the text that was copied with YY. Let's return the change with U and now let's use P uppercase and see where the text is. The text was pasted on top of where I was originally from. Now let's see what's happened when I copy several lines. I'm going to place myself in this fourth line and I will copy three lines, the three lines that follow. Then we press 3 YY I know that at the bottom it says that three lines were copied to the buffer. I locate myself in another part of the file and when I press P, observe what happened. It brings me the buffer, the three complete lines. In this way, we use YY and P to copy and paste the memory buffer. A very useful variant of the YY command is to use all the memory buffer of the server, that is, the letters. We can use memory buffer from A to Z and not just the basic buffer or the initial buffer. How do we store the contents we are going to copy in different buffers letters? For this, we are going to use a variant. What we do initially is to use, quote, the letter on which we identify the buffer and then we do the copying operation that can be YY or it can be the number of line and then YY. Let's see the following example. For example, I will store different lines in different buffer. I'm going to locate on this line and this line I will copy it 
in a buffer that we will call A. Observe what I type on the screen. Quote A and then YY comma. And place this first line in the buffer A. Now I move to another line of contents and I'm going to copy the second contents in the buffer B. Then we repeat the operation. Quote B, which is the destination buffer, and YY. I copied line 2 in buffer B. Now I've moved to line 3 and I'm going to copy this text in the buffer called C. Observe how it is done. Quote the letter of the buffer Z and then YY. I have already made a copy and note that B does not inform me anything. It simply does it in background in deep and it does not confirm that the operation has been done. Now I'm going to stand in this position and I'm going to paste the content of the buffer. So for this we use the syntax for the P command. Remember that P is paste. Then observe how we use to bring a specific buffer. We have a buffer A, a buffer B and a buffer C. That's what we have created with the previous commands. I'm going to bring for example the buffer C in the position in which I am alone. So for that we use the following syntax. Quote the name of the buffer C and the letter P. And note that I have pasted the contents of the third buffer. Now let's do the same but the buffer A. But this time I want to use the buffer A to appear above this line 3. Then see how we do it. Press quote buffer A, press the P in capital letters and paste the contents on the top line. Now we have a buffer B which contains line 2 and I want that content to place it below the position where I am. We are going to do the same. Quote the buffer is the buffer B and then we press the P and note that B has pasted the contents of the buffer B below the contents of line 1 and above the contents of line 3. Note that in this way we can use all the memory buffer from A to Z to store information, lines and also paste them in the position we want from the document. I will go down to the end of the document and see what we can do. We can tell you quickly, quote, buffer A, P and bring me the content. Quote, buffer B, P and bring me the contents. Buffer C, P and in this way we can copy and paste different memory locations using BIM.